Although Sam Abel took the Marlboro Man photograph, Richard Prince sold it to become the best paid photographer. He also sold photographs he found on Instagram for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Kevin Abosh apparently charges 150,000 for a portrait and sold a photograph of a potato for a million euros. Some photographers make more than others, a lot more. Which of these famous photographers can you name? And what genres do they work in? Richard Avedon is now apparently worth more than $17 million, and Annie Leibovitz is worth more than $20 million, apparently. What makes them different from you? Maybe it's not who you know, but what you know. Look at how they use split lighting to give their photographs dimensionality. You can use lighting ratios to highlight one side of the face. This allows you to make subtle changes or to shroud the other side into complete darkness. This works best with hard light and flags. You can research broad and short lighting. You can also use Rembrandt lighting to be more subtle, and you can use fill-in flash to provide a small catch light to the eye. Look at this little child. If you include both eyes, attention could be split between them. Instead, focus on one. As well as craft, let's look at art. Here are the Nazar and Hamza. They are symbolic. Here's the eye of Providence, and here it is again on the dollar bill. An eye atop an unfinished pyramid. And there it is again. And again. And again. This is the Eye of Horus. An ancient symbol that's been reused. This is symbolism. Here we are, the hidden hand. The eye. Bit too much. That's better. Hmm, maybe. Possibly. Mmm. Yes, well. There's the Supreme Court of the UK. Profiles. That's more subtle. It allows us to focus on one eye without going over the top. How about a cheeky wink? Yes, that's good. And again. And again. A cheeky wink has the one eye without being over the top. You can also use a hand to cover one eye. This is very popular with your clients. Do you see anybody that you recognize? Part of being a photographer is posing your clients, but you may find that publicists managers and art directors will do it for you and some established actors will already have all the tricks under their sleeve. They'll have practiced them so much you'll just have to point the camera and let them do their thing. And we can see here that some follow the right hand path. This includes celebrities and media personalities too. For example, you can see here musicians who've learned to do the trick. Even politicians get involved with the act. Public facing people in the information age need attention and this is a great way to get it. Some follow the left hand path. How many of these celebrities can you name? Do you know what they do? What are they famous for? Researching your client makes you better able to empathize with them and really help them express their personality, even if they're only showing you one eye. For example, Platon found out that Putin, when he photographed him, liked the Beatles song, Yesterday. He mentioned this and got a really interesting portrait. As well as a hand, they can use one finger. This is a long history. Who's this chap in the hat? Who's this little boy? You can be more creative too, with different hand gestures. This one inspired a hashtag. The Dele Challenge. The aim is to get your fans involved so that they pay attention, feel they know you, Feel they're part of a special club and share, share, share. In the information age, attention is life.
After all, what's the point of a pantomime if the audience is not involved? You'll be surprised how game some celebrities are, but some want to be more subtle. This famous European queen wants to be more subtle. You can use hair to cover one eye instead. This is very popular in fashion magazines. He's been used by all the greats. You see here Rihanna? Rihanna? Rihanna. She has got a right eye, you know. How about this chap? These people have cleverly used clothing and styling to cover one eye. And smoke. For many public idols, this is just part of the game. But others are uninitiated. As a photographer, you can help them get involved. Notice the use of props. You can use a leaf, a lolly, or even an abortion pill. Here's Bill Gates with an Xbox, the top fashion model in China with a handbag. You can use props. Here's Madonna's new alter ego, Madame X, with an eye patch. Here's the UK's National Health Service with smoke. Some hyperreal families already know how to get involved. You can use commercial photography, fashion photography, even wedding photography, film photography. And of course you can get idols to get involved too. Everybody can get involved using props. The more people are exposed to this, the better. That's the magic of mass media. Especially when it's their idols who are doing it. People they can really look up to and aspire to be. They'll copy them. It will sink deep into their subconscious. It also allows you as a photographer more scope to be creative with your use of props. What things can you think to put in front of one eye? How about dollars? A diploma. Diamonds. A guitar. Cellophane. A hat. With a hole cut in it. Or even a medal. We can also use Photoshop. Most photography now is edited. That gives us a lot more scope for creativity, especially when some actors don't want to play ball, and we want to show them anyway, with one eye. We can do this with compositing. Photoshop really provides you a great opportunity to create the one-eye pictures that will make your work stand out. From amateur work, you can use it in movie posters. You can use colour and editing to create that one-eye theme or graphic design. You can play your part as a photographer to inundate your audience with this image. Wherever they turn, whatever they watch, there's one eye staring back at them. But they're seeing it from the outside. They don't understand the photographic work that goes into creating it. Now there are certainly many different techniques and ideas that you can use when you're using editing, lighting, and even graphic design to change up that one eye theme. All this allows you to jazz up their portraiture. This might still be too subtle for some to notice. How about using face paint or fashion styling to underline that the one eye theme is what you're selling? People naturally mimic what they see, especially when it's an authority. This is a really brave, courageous way to share the ideas with a mass audience. If you've got a really well-trained celebrity who's willing to submit themselves to the makeup artist's more creative talents, then suggest these. You may think that this has been done to death and is now too predictable. Do you or your client want to try something a bit more edgy? No worries, you can riff on the black eye theme. There's Nan Golding, and this will really stretch your makeup artist's skill. Here's George Michael, who sung at the 2012 London Olympic Games, but sadly died at 53. As you know, great portrait celebrity and fashion photography needs a team with a vision to create something really striking and snatch maximum attention. 
As we've seen, these brave celebs are marketing themselves and generating buzz even when they're not officially at work. Are they playing? Is it real? That's the fun game you as a photographer can help them play with their die-hard fans who'll click themselves silly and share, share, share. All these valued approaches allow you and your clients to cash in and enjoy the age-old one-eye theme that's as popular now as it has been throughout the ages. Did you recognise anyone you know? From an iPhone selfie to a beautifully lit studio shoot, from elite fashion togs to shout and shoot paps, you can be sure you're in high company when you try this iconic posing technique. Now locking everybody up worldwide has made many people even richer, but even they play safe. Be careful that your actors wash their hands when they try this technique. Keep an eye out for examples of this trend in the wild. Tag them, I see you, and I look forward to seeing your own examples in the comments.